Hello everyone and welcome to Knott's Berry Farm. I am here today for their all new Taste of Knott's event. It is the first day of the event and Knott's has been closed since March, since the pandemic hit. And although theme park cannot open um, right now under the governor and the state mandate, Knott's has made an alternative by having this event, uh, which is a food event that is offered all around the park. So everything is open except for Camp Snoopy and the area by the bumper cars but they have food options with new food items available that are not usually around the park throughout the entire year. No rides, but all food. What are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and go in. So upon entering the park, you do have to do a few things beforehand. Um, one of the first things they do is they will give you a checklist. So they're gonna ask you a few questions on whether or not you've had COVID-like symptoms in the past 14 days, whether you've been around hot spots or people that have had those symptoms just general questions to make sure that you're healthy. Then you'll go through a brief temperature scan uh, to make sure that no one is running a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or above. And then you'll go through a handless bag check area. I don't know what to call that. Through security. It's like a modified version of the metal detectors. But after that, we'll go ahead and go ahead and scan our ticket to go into the park. But we're finally back here at Knott's Gray Farm. All right, so I just got inside the park and these are the new lanyards that you pick up with our tasting cards, actually. Uh, so you can see all the different food options that they have and they list the different areas that they are inside the park. But some of these food items look really delicious, like boysenberry all beef meatballs, boysenberry breaded chicken tender. I mean, I've never had that before, but what do you think? Um, I've already had, let's see, the fire honey waffle and chicken. Tender. That's kind of a mouthful, but okay. <laughs> uh, I also had the, was it, blue velvet lemon cookie witch with vanilla ice cream. And what was the thing I tried before that I'm trying to? Yeah, we got a lot of food to try today, but the great thing about it, mac and cheese pizza. Okay, that's new. It was really good. That sounds good. I'm actually really excited to try that. But we've got Silver Bolt right here and Suicide Hunter. So, it is so good to finally see the coasters again. We got Brendan, yeah. Anthony. Hi. Hello. Hello. We made it. We finally made it. He flew in all the way from somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, we got a lot of food options and we are very excited. So let's go ahead and eat something. I'd also like to point out that on the tasting card for which actually costs $30, you get five tasting items. Um, that includes foods or drinks. Yes, pick wisely, but you can also buy items for a small price. So you don't have to be restricted to five because with there being so many options, like this card's huge. Like I'm looking at thinking like, what the heck? But that's great though, that they have a lot of food options, but I don't know if I can just stick to five because there's a lot to try. All right, so I'm sitting down by the Knott's Berry Farm Bakery. And because I'm sitting down in an area, I can take off my mask. Um, then I can eat my food here. They don't want people walking around uh, eating and drinking because technically that's not in a remote area. But anyways, I am going to have this. This is the mac and cheese pizza slice. This thing's big. Like this looks really, really good. So I'm really excited to try this. That was really good. Wow. So it's literally just mac and cheese on pizza, but there's something about the combo that works so well. Like that's really good. And that's really, really good mac and cheese. So far, definite win. What did you get? Pizza again. You got, you got more pizza. Yeah, it's more that good. I got a thing. This pizza is really, really good. You didn't get anything. No, I don't want pizza. Okay. <laughs> Not everyone likes pizza, I guess, but, I but mean, yeah, this is- I mean, it's macaroni and cheese pizza, so like- I'm It makes sure it better. It's, it's so good. I feel like this would be really good with some kind of boysenberry topping, like Ooh. boysenberry pepperoni. ketchup. Pepperoni. Oh, ketchup, Ke boysenberry ketchup. Or syrup. Some kind of syrup would be like really good on this. Maybe they have ketchup somewhere we can get, I don't know. Oh yeah, I don't even wear my mask. 
Yeah, we do, yeah you, you don't need to wear your mask because we're at a table, so this is safe. And the tables are placed far away from the pathways on purpose. But yeah, this is very good so far. So right now we're taking a look at Ghost Town and it doesn't look to be that crowded right now, which is amazing, which means that you can easily social distance from everyone. The walkways are very open. I'm feeling very safe right now. And it's been going very well. Um, this event seems to be running very smoothly. Uh, I can tell that they have made improvements from Taste of Calico and it seems like it's working. So we've got hang time over there. I'm sure glad to see that again, finally, but they got some water too on the Calico mine ride as well as the waterfall is running. I can't see it from here, but the waterfall is running on the log ride. There it is. So they did turn on the waterfall, which is amazing to see, but we can go all the way back there in the boardwalk now, unlike Taste of Calico, which is awesome. I can't wait to see Accelerator again up close. All right, so we've made it to the fountain, but we've got Knott's Berry Tales over here. Very happy to see this again. I love this sign and I will continue to say that because it's still really cool. Now this is new. I haven't seen this last time I was here. They have a new entrance sign, which looks awesome. This whole area looks awesome. And I'm really excited to see it when it opens. This brickwork though, looks really, really cool. But we don't know what's on the inside just yet, but we will hopefully very soon. But we also have hang time. It is just so good to finally be right next up to hang time, but unlike Taste of Calico, the barriers are gone, which means we can go right next to Accelerator. And I would like to say that there are no rides operating. So none of the coasters or rides at Knott's are open for this event, which is kind of a bummer. But at the same time though, there's not a lot we can do, but I'm still happy to be back in the park and be able to get right up to the coasters and be able to see them again and just feel like it's a normal day here at Knott's, even though it's a little different. Well, I definitely missed this view. Okay, so this probably has to be my favorite table because it's right under Supreme Scream, which I think is the coolest thing to have that. But we are walking towards Fiesta Village. I have not seen this area in a long time. So this is really interesting. So I'm over by Soul Spin now, but you can see if they have more of those stickers Let's say this seat is unavailable. And I'm really curious to know how they're gonna do this, but it looks like you're gonna have four seats max per car, which probably will mean one group per row, or I don't know what you call it on these, but that's very interesting. And you can also see on Jaguar over there too, it's, it looks like it's gonna be every other row. But no, this is actually really cool to see this. All right, so while it is really hot here, and you can tell that I'm sweating a lot, uh, I decided to pick up a few refreshments. So right here, I have the watermelon lemonade and the unicorn icy. There's a lot of different flavors. I'm not really sure what each one is. I think Fanta, actually it's on the tasting card somewhere. I think Fanta is one of them. Uh, oh, here we go. Orange Fanta, blue raspberry, red cherry, and yellow lemon. It's a lot of flavors. It looks really good though. Um, so both of these are on the tasting card, which is very interesting. And I actually think this is something new to Knott's. I don't think they've sold something like this before. Okay, that music is really loud, but yeah, this is, they both look really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna try the watermelon lemonade. That's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of pink lemonade a little bit. They also have a, um, a piece of watermelon in there, but, it's very refreshing because it is just so hot out here. I mean, usually August can get really hot here, but it's also good to make sure you stay hydrated because that is very, very important. Now I'm going to try the Unicorn Icy, which is kind of dripping everywhere, but... That's really good. I, you can definitely taste all the flavors. Um, yeah, it's just a normal Icy, but because of all the, you can't really see it, but there's a lot of different colors because they put a lot of different flavors in here. But no, it's actually really good. It's a nice little treat to have on a hot summer day like this. Good. 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 
All right, so I am really, really excited for this because I got the fried boysenberry pie bites with powdered sugar, and he got a, an icy. So this is my fourth yeah, I got a tasting. Icy. He, the unicorn icy I had earlier. Uh, this is my fourth tasting, but I am just excited to taste this because this looks so good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to not make a mess when I eat this, but let's, let's, let's see how this works. That is really good, wow. <laughs> like, it reminds me of one of those like fair fried foods, but at the same time though, like that's really good. It's like a, a fried berry, Preserve thing. I'm not really sure what it is. I, I don't know what it looks like. What, what do you think? Um, it's 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 kind of weird. I don't really like. <laughs> I'd say what it looks like, but I don't think I would. Yeah, it it's a little interesting, but it looks really good though. It tastes amazing. First day I visited was first day of Boys and Berry Festival, um, 2017. Yes. Hello, sir. Welcome. Okay, I ate this really fast. <laughs> But that just shows how good it was though. I mean, that was really, really good. And then there's Mr. I'm slow at eating. You're, really nice. oh my gosh. I'm, the sun is beginning to set here in ghost town. And I really, really missed these sunset nights here at Knott's. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it just missed this park atmosphere so much. I love just being able to come back and Put your mask on. We are, I'm we are, drinking water because I'm dehydrated and tired. Okay. Period. Okay. Well, we. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just so good to walk around and hear the music. All right. So for the final offering on my tasting card, I decided to get the mini corn dogs and French fries, and it's in a nice little convenient container, which I actually really like about it. You can see that it, it's a little handheld portable carrying case thing, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. But it's kind of nice actually, that you can easily walk around the park. I mean, you can't eat it without your mask on um, when you're walking around, but I am sitting in an area by Ghost Rider. So I just finished eating the mini corn dogs and fries and they were really, really good. A little salty, but I guess that's what you expect from French fries. But I liked how it was very simple. It's just your standard mini corn dogs and fries. And I like that they have a variety of different food items where some are simple, some are a little more complex or unusual, like more than what you would see in, in our theme park area. Uh, it was actually like really good. I loved all of the food here during this event and they did have a lot of different options compared to Taste of Calico, which I really liked. So it wasn't the same, it was totally different. And they even added more food. Like I think there's way more food options than what they had in Taste of Calico. Cause honestly, like I might have to come back for more because of how much they have. It's like. A lot of it looks really, really good. It's like, you just can't have five because they have at least 40 different options probably. And it's just, wow, all of it was incredible. And I was actually really surprised at how well they pulled it off. And he's taking pictures. It's apparently golden hour right now, which means that the sunlight looks really good. I mean, it does look really beautiful right now. I mean, look, you got the K right there. You got accelerator, Supreme Scream, this tunnel. And he's still taking pictures. Or videos, I'm not sure what he's doing. All right, the sun is setting, which means all the lights are turning on, which is super awesome. I miss being back here at night. here at Knott's Berry Farm, we are glad to have you join us for a taste of Knott's. Thank 
All right, so that's gonna do it for my visit here at Taste of Knots. Overall, that was an amazing experience. I was so happy that happened that Knots put on such an amazing event. You got Supreme Scream right behind me, lit up in its blue, purple, whatever you wanna call it, lights. Um, but the food here was out of this world. I was actually not what I was expecting too. It was way better than Taste of Calico and I am very happy that Knots put on this event. Thank you so much for watching. Please come check out this event when you can. It runs Fridays to Sundays till September 13th, I think, or 14th, I'm not sure. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you in the next video.